Welcome mathematicians. In today's video, we'll be looking at X and Y intercepts. You can see on our screen at the moment, we've got a Y intercept up the top here and X intercept down the bottom. Before we go into this video, a quick question. If I have a set of axes and I wish to sketch a graph, what's the minimum number of points required to do so? Clearly, I only need two points between which I can draw a line. As just stated, in order to sketch a graph, you only need two points. So here I have the point 46, Point 0.1 and the point 0.82, point 0.2. Now these are Cartesian coordinates. The 4 represents the x and the 6 represents the y value. 8 represents the x and the 2 represents the y value. With these two points, we can then get a ruler and draw a line and we have an accurate sketch of that particular equation. Likewise, if I had the points 2, 2, an x of 2 and a y of 2, and 10, 6, an x of 10 and a y of 6, I could get a ruler, draw a line, and I'd have an accurate sketch of that particular linear equation. Two of the simplest points you can locate are the x and y intercepts. These leave very little room to make a mistake on your sketching. So in this set of axes, I have a point 40 on the x-axis, we call that the x-intercept, and a point 08 on the y-axis, we call that the y-intercept. So this is our y-intercept, and this is our x-intercept. Let's consider another situation. I have here the point negative 20 on the x-axis, and the point 0, 4 on the y-axis. So this is our y-intercept. It's where this line, the green line, crosses the y-axis. And this is the x-intercept. Note in both cases, the x-intercept has a y value of 0, a y value of 0, and the y-intercept has an x value of 0, x value of 0. The x-intercept is the point on a graph where the line crosses the x-axis. So here's our x-axis, and here's our x-intercept. So there's our point in this example. So if we consider a pair of Cartesian coordinates, this particular point on the x-intercept represents an x value of 6 and, and a y value of 0. So this x-intercept has the Cartesian coordinates of 6 and 0. Note, the x-intercept occurs when y equals 0. doesn't matter where the x-intercept is, it's always going to happen on the x-axis, which means the y value is always going to be 0. So the y-intercept, it's the point on the graph where the line crosses the y-axis. So here's our y-axis, and here's our y-intercept, right at this point here. It can be represented as a pair of Cartesian coordinates as well. We have a y-value of 8, and an x-value of 0. Okay, it doesn't matter where it crosses the y-axis, this x-value is always going to be 0. That's the thing about the y-axis. Y-intercepts occur when x equals 0. Let's have a look at some examples. Example number 1. Sketch the straight line graph that has an x-intercept of 8 and a y-intercept of 6. Here's our value, x-intercepting at the 8 and y-intercepting at the 6. We have our two points. Now, if we wish to sketch that, we simply get our ruler, draw our line, and we've got it. There's our sketch. Example number 2. Sketch the straight line with the equation y equals 2x plus 4 using both the x and y-intercepts. So step number one, let's find the y-intercept. The y-intercept occurs, if you recall, when x equals zero. So let's now substitute x equals zero into our equation. We've got the equation y equals 2x plus 4. Where we've got an x, let's substitute in the value of zero. So 2x becomes two lots of zero. That can be further expanded to two lots of zero is zero, so y equals zero plus four, or y equals four. So we've just found the Cartesian coordinates for the y-intercept are zero and four. So there it is on our y-axis. Step two, find the x-intercept. So recall, x-intercepts occur when y equals zero. So let's substitute y equals zero into the equation. The equation is y equals 2x plus 4. And where we have a y, we'll substitute in y equals zero. So now we have zero equals 2x plus 4. Let's remove the plus 4 from the right-hand side by subtracting 4 on both the left and right-hand side. So I'm now left with negative 4 equals 2x. Let's get rid of the 2 with the x by dividing both sides by 2. Now I'm left with negative 2 equals x. Or I could rearrange it to x equals negative 2. The Cartesian coordinates for the x-intercept are negative 2 and 0. We get a ruler and we draw that line. And we've now sketched our graph using the x and y-intercepts. Example 3, our final example. Sketch the straight line with the equation y equals negative 2x plus 10 using both the x and y-intercepts. Step 1, find the y-intercept. As you recall, the y-intercept occurs when x equals 0. 
substitute x equals 0 into the equation. Our equation was y equals negative 2x plus 10. We substitute in our value for x equals 0, and we're left with y equals 0 plus 10. Finally, that leaves us with y equals 10. The Cartesian coordinate for the y-intercept are 0 and 10. So there's our first point. x equals 0, y equals 10. Number 2, find the x-intercept. You recall the x-intercept occurs when y equals 0. So we have y equals negative 2x plus 10. We substitute in y equals 0. And we're left with 0 equals negative 2x plus 10. I want to get rid of my plus 10, so I'll subtract 10, both on the left and right hand side. That will give me negative 10 equals negative 2x. And finally, if I divide both sides by negative 2, I'm left with 5 equals x, or rather x equals 5. The Cartesian coordinates for the x-intercept are 5 and 0. Once we've got these two points, we simply have to use our ruler and draw our line and our sketch is complete. Thank you for watching this video on x and y intercepts. Hopefully it's explained the simplicity of trying to do a quick sketch using two points and the easiest two points we have are the x and y intercepts. If you've enjoyed this video and learned something, please like, share, comment and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.